Sky Masters, Nathan Detroit. You won't promote a youth. Sky, you gonna be in town long? Uh, no, I'm flying to Havana tomorrow. Havana? Yeah, there's a lot of action down there. You should come with me. No, I've got things to tell me. Are you hungry? Perhaps you'd care to run into Mindy's and have a piece of cheesecake or strudel last night. Uh, no thanks, I already ate. But you will admit Mindy's has the best cheesecake in the country. Yeah. Why, sure. Uh, quite partial to Mindy's cheesecake. Who ain't? And yet there are some who prefer Mindy's strudel over the cheesecake. Off hand, which do you think he sells more of? The strudel or the cheesecake? <laughs> well, I've uh, never given it much thought, but uh, if I had a guess, I'd say that Mindy sells more cheesecake than strudel. How much? Come again? I will bet you a thousand dollars that Mindy sells more strudel than cheesecake. <laughs> Nathan, Nathan, let me tell you a little story. Oh, okay. You see, when I was a young man about to make my way in the world, my daddy gave me a valuable piece of advice. Son, the old guy says to me, one day in your travels, a man is going to come to you with a deck of cards because his seal is not yet broken. This man is going to offer you a bet. He's going to bet you that he can make the jack of spades jump out of the deck and squirt cider in your ear. But son, do not take this bet, for surely as I stand here before you, you will wind up with an ear full of cider. Now, Nathan, I don't claim that you've been clocking in these cheesecake. You don't think However, that. You are looking for some action. I uh, bet you the same thousand bucks that you don't know the color tie which you were currently wearing. Well, do we have a bet? <laughs> no bet. Polka dots. Only need to trick and blow a thousand dollars on polka dots. We took Allie down to the drugstore, and she says for you to be sure to pick her up after the show at the hot box and don't be late. <laughs> Yes, dear. I mean, yes, 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 dear. Nathan. This is husband talk if I ever heard it. You're trapped. In Adelaide, you're the kind of adult that is most difficult to unload. I don't want to unload her. I love Adelaide. A guy without a dog? Well, a doll is a necessity. Why, Nathan, I'm not putting the rap on all dolls. I'm just saying, figuring age for weight, all dolls are the same. All dolls are the same, huh? Yeah. Are you willing to bet that same 1000 that if I knew it all, you can take her with you to Havana tomorrow? <laughs> Nathan Detroit, you have yourself a bet. Not a real high class doll. Any doll, you name it. Why are you here? I told you. I'm a sinner. 
You're lying. Well, lying's a sin, isn't it? <laughs> Look, I'm a really big sinner. And if you get me, it's eight to five that the others will follow. <laughs> okay. How about I help? I bet that I can fill this place up with sinners. No, I do not bet. A proposition, then. When is this big meeting of yours? Uh, Thursday? I guarantee you one dozen genuine sinners for that meeting. And what's my end of the bargain? Well, see, that's the easy part. Have dinner with me. Why do you want to have dinner with me? I don't know. I'm hungry. Here. What's this? Sky Masters of Marker. I, Sky Masters. Oh, you, Miss Sarah Brown. One dozen genuine sinners. <laughs> if you don't think it's good, ask anybody in town. I'll uh, pick you up at noon tomorrow for dinner. At noon? Well, yeah, it's gonna take us some time to get there. To get where? El Cafe Cubana in Havana. Havana? Well, where else do you want to eat? Howard Johnson's? <laughs> Look, the plane gets there in five hours and back at the same time. And the food is muy bien. Please go away. You know, somewhere in the world there must be a man that appeals to the sergeant. I wonder what he'll be like. Well, he will not be a gambler. No, I, I'm not interested in what he will not be. I can just as easily tell you what he will not be. I'm interested in what he will be. Don't worry.